Hello viewers, Power BI is a great platform which focuses on business intelligence that helps us in processing the data efficiently. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how we can create measures, use automated measures and write DAX queries in Power BI for data analysis. Subscribe to my channel to get alerts on my new videos related to Power BI. First of all, what is a measure? We have raw data with us from the source file. There will be a need to come up with some derived value or a summary on that data. It can be some kind of aggregated value or a calculated value which we call it to be a measure. I have two tables in my model, one for the students which is going to hold the registration number, the student name, grade and the house name and the house category. So the house name and the house category are related to sports. In the school, the students will be assigned to different sports groups, which is nothing but the house name here. The other table that I have is on the sports, where I have the registration number, the sport name and the points scored by the student during the inter-house competition. Now I have these two tables with me and I have already created a relationship between these two tables on the registration number since it is common in both these two tables. Power BI Desktop creates automatic measures for us. Expand the data pane and then you will be able to see columns with the sigma icon in front of them. These kind of columns are called automated measures. I have not created this measure and since it is a numerical field, Power BI has created this measure for me. Select a chart type. Along the x-axis, I'm going to have the house name and along the y-axis, I'm going to place this measure on points. By this way, we'll be able to know which house has got the maximum number of points. So this is nothing but the data aggregation. We are actually aggregating the data for each category. Power BI Desktop also offers us other measures apart from sub. Click on the down arrow along the y-axis where you can see the other measures that are offered by Power BI which are the average, minimum, maximum, count, standard deviation. So you can choose whichever measure you want based on your project requirement. This is all about the automated measure. I have another requirement where I'll need to work on the student data. So in the x-axis, Instead of house name, I have placed the student name there. My requirement is this. In the tooltip of each bar in the bar chart, in addition to displaying the student name and the sum of points, I also want to display the number of games played by the student and if the student is eligible for the sports captain position or not. And for this requirement, I'm going to create two measures. The first one is on the number of games played. Right click on DF underscore sports and then click on new measure. My first measure is going to be on the number of sports or the games which are played by the student. So I'll give measure equal to the count of the sport. For easy reference, I cannot have measure as the name. So I'm going to rename it to number of games played. So you can see that the number of games played measure will appear in the df underscore sports table. Similarly, I'm going to create another measure which is going to tell me if the student is eligible for the sports captain position or not. For which I'm going to use this if condition which says the sum of points if it is greater than 2 then the student is eligible else the student is not eligible and the name of this measure is going to be sports captain position. So now that we have got two measures here in df underscore sports, so we need these two measures to be displayed as a tooltip in each bar. So go to the tooltip section where you can drag and drop these two fields. And by this you can notice 
that these two measures will display the values in the tooltip of each bar for each student to be specific. The sum of the points scored by David is 2, so he is not eligible for the sports captain position as per our if condition, so this measure will display the value as ineligible. This is how we can create our own measures and use it for visualization. So we have looked at the automatic measures and the new measures that we want to create on a table. Now next we are going to look at the tax query. I was just using an if condition to display my results. Let's say I have a requirement where I want to identify which house won in each sport with the maximum points. So in this case I can go for DAX query. DAX stands for data analysis expressions. So it is very much similar to the SQL queries and using these DAX queries we can make use of various keywords and functions. In SQL we write the select query to display the data. Likewise in DAX we use evaluate keyword to execute the query and to display the data. And evaluate is a required keyword. There are many optional keywords like ordered by, measure, where, table, etc. So where can I write the DAX query? In the Power BI desktop, on the left side, you can see DAX query view icon. When you click on that, it opens up the DAX query editor. So this is the space where you can write the DAX queries. And there is a run button at the top to execute the queries. Now let me show you some basic example to understand how this DAX query works. So to execute a query, I'll need to give the evaluate keyword. And let's say I want to view the number of records or the values that are available in the df underscore sports table. So I'll give evaluate df underscore sports. When I click on the run button, it is going to display me all the records in the table. Now let's say I want to join df underscore sports and the df underscore students data. Similar to SQL, we also have join here, which are the natural inner join, the natural left outer join, and we also have a cross join. So I want to join these two tables using the inner join, for which I'll give natural inner join of the first table, which is going to be the students table. And the second table is going to be the sports table. Once when I click this run button, it is going to join these two tables and return me the results. The way the natural inner join works is that it is going to use the common column name to join these two tables. Here in my case, the common column name is registration underscore number, reg underscore no. And this join has used this column as the common column to join these two tables and this is how the results are produced. Now let's look at the DAX query for our requirement. We have got two sections here. One is define and the other one is evaluate. Summarize columns is the keyword that is going to provide the summary based on the group like sport and house name. So what I'm trying to do here is that on the df underscore sports table, I'm first grouping by sport and then I'm grouping by the house name based on the data from the df underscore students table and then I'm getting the sum of points for each and every group and I'm storing this data in the points variable. So to view the result, what I'll have to do is, I'll give evaluate points, which is going to display me this data, which says, in the chess board, the blueberry house has got a total of four points. And in the football sport, the blueberry house has got a total of one point. Similarly, in the chess board, the orange house has got a total of four points. And this is how we can read the data. My requirement is that in each sport, 
which house won with the maximum points. So let's consider this example where we have the chess board. The blueberry house has got a total of 4 points and for the same chess board the orange house has got 4 points. When it comes to other games like football, the blueberry house has got only 1 point whereas the orange house has got 2 points. So the orange house is the winner for the football sport. We have the points data here and we are going to group by the points data on the sport column and we are going to get the maximum points from the current group which is this particular points group and from that particular points group I am going to use the total points column to get the maximum point out of it. When I execute this tax query I will get 4 points for chess, 2 points for football, 2 points for shuttle. So these are the maximum points for each sport. So now that we have got the maximum point, we are now going to do a natural left outer join on the points and this particular data so that we will be able to get the sport, the house name as well as the maximum points. The total points is the one which is derived from the points data whereas the maximum points is the one which is derived by the group by. On the natural left outer join, I am going to apply a filter where I can specify the condition to retrieve the records and my filter condition is the total points equal to the maximum points and the records that match the total points and the maximum points will be displayed in my output window. On this filter data, I am going to select only the required columns where I am going to select the sport name, the house name, followed by the maximum points. So once I execute this DAX query, I will get the required data, where for the chess sport, blueberry and orange are in tie with the maximum of 4 points. For football, orange house has got the maximum of 2 points. So orange house is the winner in football. For tennis, orange house is again the winner with the maximum of 2 points. And for carom, orange house is the winner with 5 points. And for shuttle, blueberry is the winner with 2 points. So this is going to be my final output that displays the house that bags the maximum points in each sport. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you understood how to create a measure and write a DAX query based on the project requirement. See you soon with my next video on Power BI.